uh, Microsoft warned uh, Azure customers about high latency after multiple subsea cables were cut in the Red Sea. I quote, undersea fiber cuts can take time to repair, the company noted as engineers reroute the traffic to alternative paths. If your apps cross Europe, Asia or the Gulf, build in Slack and expect occasional real world infrastructure hiccups. Yeah, it's a worrisome, worrisome news. Right? It's geopolitical tensions that we see. Uh, I think also the... Um, the ability that 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 different groups have to do this kind of damage, which has probably has also evolved over time. I think this would have been much harder to do 15 years ago, or there would be less parties that would be able to do this to uh, basically damage these cables at the bottom of the sea. Um, but you see that these these geopolitical tensions they start having an effect on the World Wide Web, and I think it, it makes me worry a bit, like how big can we expect the, the internet to be? Like uh, if this continues and if this grows, like uh, will we only see, have access to a part of the internet, right? It's a big extra worry if these things like uh, grow in in, uh, in occurrence, right? Because it's to me, this is like, the internet is a bit of a, should I put this, maybe a bit of a basic necessity yeah for for uh, the the human race as a whole yeah it's like a commodity right it's become a commodity yeah yeah but this put it a bit at uh at, uh this puts it a bit at attention right like we hope that it will remain a commodity